Oh, that was All right. It is now Friday, July 2nd, 2021, and uh, I'm driving around with my decidedly non-Doomer Chick sister who's turning into more of a Doomer Chick with each day. <laughs> she was asking me, this, she asked me the question, not the other way around, why are all the trees dying around here? And I noticed this last week driving from Sandy's, who lives about two hours west of me, back to my place. I don't know if you guys can see this. Entire mountainsides uh, in, in New York are, are, just, are, are just going brown. Uh, unbelievable timing that we got. Uh, maybe he got some information. This is, it, it, and, it's, and it's not just ash trees, guys. I understand that the ash trees are dying. Okay, okay, look at these trees right here. That's clearly an ash on the left that died of that, but this tree right in front of me, I don't know what that is. Now we've had a lot it's of like some kind of willow. Uh, yeah, it almost looks like a willow. The willow, the big willow tree in my yard, looks like it's dying. Uh, this is not just ash trees. The just entire swaths of mountainsides in uh, New York this summer are are turning brown. We can't tell. Have they been defoliated by caterpillars? We've had a bad caterpillar invasion up here the past few weeks. But it, but, but th there's some trees. They don't look defoliated. They look dead. There's some that look dead, and then there's some that they are obviously defoliated. lush and bright green and healthy. It almost looks like you would expect it to look like an early spring mm -hmm. when the leaves are barely. Mm -hmm. But th this mountain, my guess is all the leaves came out six weeks ago. This was a solid green mountainside. It is 50% of this mountainside uh, has been defoliated. It did, did, did caterpillars eat all of these trees? And then the fir trees, I've had uh, videos on the fir trees, they're going down. The hemlock trees are going down. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is a willow tree. Uh, it's just, I, I mean, this problem is rampant. This, this hillside, I guarantee you, did not look like this last year. And, and last year was a very dry summer. I mean, the, uh, we have gotten plenty of rain. Uh, there is a major tree off, tree die off going on in upstate New York this year. Just starting a few miles east of here, because I remember Coming back, coming back from Sandy's last week, it was right about here. Uh, we're, I'd say we're coming into Watkins Glen, but somewhere between Watkins Glen and Ithaca, you cross this line where the mountainsides outside of Ithaca, 20 miles east of here, this mountainside would be a blanket of green. You head off to the west of here, and mountainside after mountainside is turning brown. I, have, I am not hearing one word about this. I thought I was losing my doomer mind, but as I say, my sister has noticed this too, that uh, there is no canopy left in this forest around here. And it's just like we passed this line. How long ago? 20 minutes ago? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, this, I mean, this is just, this is weird, guys. And uh, so here, these maple trees look beautiful, but look at all those, look at all the, uh, these uh, fir trees. Uh, this is, I would say, 50% of the fir trees. Look at this whole line. Now, this is something different then. Look at that, that whole grove dead. Uh, look at this. I think those are probably ash trees, but, but who knows anymore? Yeah, that's not ash bark. That's not ash bark. And look, look at these trees. Look at these trees. We're just driving down the road in the western Finger Lakes. 
just mile after mile of, uh, we're, we're not talking a few dead trees. We're talking thousands of dead trees. Uh, oh well. So where we are right now is uh, the junction of 79 and 227. Uh, so that's the way back to Ithaca. I bet we'll take 79. We can take 79, 20 miles, and we're going to cross this tree vortex. Look at that! Look at that mountainside over that there. That is crazy. I'm. Those are definitely willows. Am I crazy or is, 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 is two thirds of that mountainside been defoliated? Well, both things can be true. There you go. <laughs> I uh, two thoughts in my mind. Yes. Uh, you know, it, it reminds me in Tennessee near that copper mine. Remember that? What did they call that place? Where that copper mine? I mean, guys, I am looking right now out my window at 10,000 at least dying. Uh, I, they don't have the they don't have the structure of evergreens. Okay, here we go through the white pines. Right now, are seem to be doing okay, but they, they, those right those are not. Nice. So, so th that one, those are ash. But here is a mixture of ash and. And, and now that thing looked like a damn dogwood tree that was dead. That was clearly not an ash tree. Uh, no, this is, we're, we're, we're talking a major tree die off. Uh, okay, what are these trees right in front of this house? Totally, right here, okay. Every tree in front of this house and those red almost maples. look like red, red maples, maples. Uh, the red maples are, are looking like they're dead the fir trees are dead red maples dead or at least defoliated look at all the alders dead. Uh, that uh, entire swamp full of alders uh, this is nothing uh, kills them uh this is crazy guys uh Anybody who does not believe that we're that WASF come to Watkins Glen, all right, we're coming down the hill. I mean, look at that, that entire hillside of trees is done. Yeah, well, the aspens, some people call them aspens, these eastern, but the ones in my yard, that's the tree that just fell over a couple weeks ago. Full grown, what people call aspen. They're looking awful in my yard. Uh, this is another one of those things, like a defoliated red maple. Yes. That's scary. That's what those are. Those are, I'm thinking that might be those damn caterpillars. Uh, unbelievable caterpillar invasion that we've had. Uh, they're taking out our apple tree and I, and half the leaves on my willow tree have disappeared. Uh, I would say in the last 10 days. Anyway, we're sitting here chronicling the collapse of a planet, which is why we call this channel Collapse Chronicles. And uh, this is bad news, guys. Get out there and enjoy your Ethiopian food while you still can. That's what we're going to go do is have some Ethiopian food before the planet collapses.